This interesting bullet you're looking at is the Lehigh Defense 122 grain controlled chaos bullet built for the 6.5 Creedmoor. It is obviously a hollow point, but what you can't see is that it's tapered inside, and I'll show you why in a second. It is a boat tail bullet to help with long range accuracy. The reason that it's tapered inside, I'm gonna lay this side by side. This is one of the bullets that I have recovered. It consistently breaks off at this point right here, and I've recovered four of these, four of these bullets, and you, what you're left with are these pedals which is why it's tapered here. And when Lehigh Defense was creating this bullet, its whole intention was to have a bullet that will impact an animal but not pass through. And I'll put an article below so that you can read it and uh, gather the information yourself. What I've been looking for and what I'm really interested in is not only a good hog bullet, and I believe this will probably do um, what I'm wanting it to do, but more importantly, I'm trying to find a coyote bullet and a varmint bullet that's not going to blow through and absolutely shatter an animal. I've read some reports already where I believe they stated that this does uh, destroy the pelt, but my goal in trying to develop this load is to find me a good varmint bullet, but also a good hog bullet. Here is the load, and it's been one of the most interesting bullets that I have had to develop. It took me a little bit of powder selection and um, working with the brass, and I'll put down my load data below. Um, this bullet measures at 2.860, which is the longest load that I have, and um, it's at a weak point, so I should probably crimp this, but because my accuracy node right now is so good, I'm not gonna mess with it. So tomorrow I'm gonna be hunting in Collin County uh, with my uh, Aero Precision 6.5 Creedmoor here. And here's something else that's different. I forgot I purchased this from a guy at the Long Range Hunting Forum. This is a brass catcher that I probably have had for about two years, completely forgot about it. All you do is you snap this around. There's obviously a clip there and I can't do this one handed, but this just covers this up here. And when I was using this for my 5.56, it worked perfectly. So I'm gonna get rid of this big one for maybe a month. I'm gonna try using this one to see how well it does recover the brass. I had no issues using this for my 5.56, so I believe it should work just fine for my 6.5 Creedmoor. Wish me luck tomorrow, and we'll kill us a hog and hopefully a coyote.